Hey guys, I'm Kelvin Chaplin, and today I'm going to elucidate the phenomenon known as the hydrophobic effect. Well, let's go, shall we? Mixing oil and water in solution requires the change in free energy, delta G, to be greater than zero, which is what we observe when I put energy in the oil and water solution. Thermodynamically speaking, the change in enthalpy, delta H, is less than zero and the process of mixing oil and water is therefore exothermic, yet endergonic. Using Gibbs free energy equation, we can determine the direction of the reaction. Since delta G is greater than zero when the oil and water are mixed, and delta H is less than zero when the oil and water are mixed, Delta S must also be less than zero. Delta S is change in entropy. Since delta S is less than zero when the oil and water solution is mixed, there is more order in the solution, accounting for the high energy. How so? Well, it has a lot to do with molecular structure and electronegativity of the compounds in the solution. Water, also known as H2O, is a polar molecule because it has an oxygen atom, a highly electronegative atom. Because of its increased electronegativity, the electrons of the entire molecule pull toward the oxygen atom, giving it a partial negative charge and leaving the hydrogen atoms with a partial positive charge. This structure of water molecules gives it unique hydrogen bonding properties in solution. In other words, when two water molecules come together, they line up so that the hydrogen of one molecule is lined with the oxygen of the other molecule. These bonds are approximately 20 kilojoules per mole. So you can imagine in a solution filled with water, all of the water molecules are constantly hydrogen bonded with other molecules. But when you add a nonpolar substance, such as oil to the solution, water molecules are unable to hydrogen bond to these molecules. Why? Because hydrogen bonds can only occur between an electronegative atom and a hydrogen that is connected to an electronegative item such as oxygen or nitrogen. Nonpolar substances will not hydrogen bond to water molecules, but water molecules still hydrogen bond to other water molecules. Therefore, in solution of oil and water, water molecules that are still hydrogen bonding to other water molecules form cages around the nonpolar substances. Here, the molecules are more ordered. Exactly. Which is why we said upon mixing oil and water, the change in entropy, delta S, is less than zero. 
But this is highly unfavorable since delta G is greater than zero. Second law of thermodynamics is the entropy law, which states that an isolated system always evolves toward a state of maximum entropy. So, when we saw the oil begin to separate from the water in my experiment, it was due to entropy. To become more disordered, the nonpolar substance is aggregated to expose less surface area of the nonpolar molecule. This allows fewer water molecules to be necessary to encage the nonpolar substance than when the nonpolar substance was mixed in the solution. This state is much more favored as it is lower in energy and higher in entropy. And that, my friend, is the explanation of the hydrophobic effect. Thank you.